Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Sun. Breaking news from WorldScreen.com, Chelsea Reagan, uh, a couple articles on it, but I chose this one because WorldScreen is a good choice for animated news, breaking news. It's usually short and to-the-point articles. But Netflix and Mattel are teaming up. They're doing another He-Man and Masters Universe series. The original one was from the 80s, I believe. I'll double, I'll triple check on that for you. And then there was a reboot, the 2002 version. And Netflix, as some of you might know, already has a She-Ra series that's doing really well. I believe there's two seasons. And so now they're bringing back He-Man. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Um, look it up. Brian Q. Miller, who was involved with Arrow, Smallville, Sleepy Hollow. He also wrote some comics for DC. I know some bad books. He act, uh, Out of the books that he's written, he wrote a Batgirl series with Stephanie Brown that had Damian Wayne, the current Robin, and I really like that first. So you comic lovers, I really suggest picking that up. He, outside of Grant Morrison, he writes a really good Damian Wayne, one of the only ones that like I really enjoy. Like I think he gets the character. But back to Netflix, uh, let's see. They also they did Troll Hunters, uh, which is also a really popular Netflix show. I, two, three seasons, and then there's a spin-off one with some aliens as well, and set in the same universe. So, that's pretty cool. They also have another He-Man thing coming out, Master of the Universe Revelation with Kevin Smith. I'm sure most of you know Kevin Smith. And that's, you know, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the original, here's the original. For those who are familiar with it, I mean, it gets referenced on a lot of stuff. It gets read. Uh, referenced on uh, let's see, Robot Chicken and back in the day it's just like he's this guy this prince the Guardian of Eternity and then he gets this sword and says by the power of Grayskull he turns into this you know this hulking he-man and like that's that's his thing he's got allies and he's fighting the evil Skeletor and other evil forces um, the 2002 series was really good I I don't know if it got two seasons I believe it did get two seasons yes I think I'm, I'm I think it did this is the art for the second season but or no this is the art for the show in general but it was tied to a toy deal it it was in Cartoon Network in 2002 and like a lot of shows that are tied to toy deals it just didn't last because maybe the show did well for what it was but the toys were not selling so they canceled it um, and that was for a lot of cartoons. That was kind of like the business. It's like, all right, we're putting this cartoon on. We want to sell products on, on it. We're going to sell toys because I mean, kids don't have a lot of buying power. So it's like we want to put this on and kind of, you know, the end of the day of television is to make money. It's like to advertise to, and to entertain people. Um, some a lot of other successful children shows that have gone on and been more successful usually aren't tied to toy deals. Um, Static Shock for one, as long as we're talking kind of like the comic superhero realm. Um, Spongebob, I'm pretty sure is not. Other shows, uh, Adventure Time, I'm pretty sure is not in, in other shows. But but that's it for breaking news on this. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll, I'll follow up on this, but uh, I'm sure Netflix will have a trailer in the next, I don't know, year plus. So it should be good. I mean, it'll follow. It'll follow in the same vein as uh, their their Voltron reboot, their She-Ra reboot. They seems like they have a good good cast of producers and writers involved. So I I expect it to be pretty good. All right, that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions. Once again, this is Brian with Morning Sun signing off.